Hello everybody and welcome back to more Pokemon Let's Go Eevee! In the last episode, we captured Mewtwo and defeated Pokemon Trainer Green. And in this episode, uh, this is kind of a bonus episode. Uh, I, 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 I believe I mentioned in the last episode that I wanted to fight Pokemon Trainer Red next, and Blue, who is a gym leader, but... In order to unlock Pokemon Trainer Red, we must first defeat six master trainers that are surrounded out in the post game. And I thought it would be only be fitting if I fought the master trainers of the six Pokemon that I've been adventuring through with with in this uh, in this let's play I've been doing. So, first up, I'm going to go ahead and try challenging the the Eevee master trainer. And I made sure to power up all my Pokemon before the recording of this episode. I think everyone is at a good level because these master trainers are are all pretty Hey Pidgeotto, what's up? All these master trainers are pretty strong. So, without further ado, I'm the Eevee Master. My goal is to find the ultimate Eevee. Hey, your Eevee looks pretty strong. Can I battle it with my Eevee, please? Sure. Let's see which is the stronger Eevee. All right, so a little a little bit of information about these master trainers as their name implies they are these Trainers that are just Really good at training one Pokemon one one of the NPCs kind of explained it to us, but uh, They have really strong versions of one single Pokemon though. This is our partner Eevee our partner Eevee is stronger than most normal Eevees and we are uh, leveled up pretty high so I don't think we'll have a huge amount of issue. On top of that, we're the partner Eevee, so we have access to all these moves that just <laughs> uh, can burn. We we get a uh, reflect up. We get we get a bunch of stuff. We're privileged. So I think this I think this uh, first master trainer will be pretty easy for us. Uh, so I think we're just gonna have to chip away. Nope. I was thinking we'd have to chip away the, at the HP a bit, but I guess we're just gonna knock it out right then and there. <laughs> All right, down there's there there goes down the the Eevee Master Trainer. Wow, wow, your Eevee is way stronger than I thought. I think you deserve to be called an Eevee Master, not the Eevee Master and Eevee Master. Okay, I like that because it implies that more people can be Eevee Masters as well. We should have another battle sometime since we both love Eevee so much. Ah. Yeah, I, I guess we could battle these guys as many times as we want, and yes, I do love Eevee. Um, let's look at our party real quick. I guess I should go for the Ninetales one next, right? I think the Ninetales one sounds like a fun little challenge. I'll be using an Alolan Ninetales for this one, so Feng Shun and editing cut ahead to when I find the Ninetales Master Trainer. Alright, here we are in Route 9, where the Ninetales Master Trainer is. I'm the Ninetales Master Trainer. Well, Ninetales Master, I aim to find the ultimate Ninetales. What's this? I see you have a strong looking Ninetales. Why don't you have it battle my Ninetales? Sure! Alright, it's time for a Ninetales battle. Okay, now, so I... I think this will be a really hard one for us. Even though I'm kind of strong, I, I did give my Ninetales uh, 200 Vulpix candies back from when I was trying to shiny hunt Vulpix. B and, and my Ninetales is pretty strong, but I have... I'm the type advantage is against me. I taught my nine tails dig just just for this this mirror match because I knew it was gonna be really difficult. Uh, I don't know how useful it'll be, but we'll see. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't know. Um, I'm hoping for the best. And dig is a physical move, so calm mind. I don't need to worry about. Ooh, okay, that did about half. That's not bad. Hypnosis? No, 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 no. Let's not have that. Uh, I guess I'll dig again. I hope this is the entire fight. I'm just digging <laughs> the entire time. Oh no, he's calm minding. He knows my strategy. On the turns where I'm not attacking, he's calm minding. Oh my gosh, he's in my head. This is the ultimate mind game. This isn't gonna two hit KO. So I, I kind of have to do it again. What are you gonna do? Hypnosis? All right. We should be fine. I, I was worried this guy would use like, like fire blast or something, but I, I guess he's just gonna, I guess he's just gonna give it to us. He tried using hypnosis one too many times and he kind of just gave it to us. So it looks like we're good. All right, I was worried for nothing. 
I'm really happy about that. <laughs> All right, there's the Ninetales Master Trainer beaten with an Alolan Ninetales of all things. I'm kind of surprised. I was, I was wondering, I was thinking it was going to be difficult. A strength is a real thing. Just considering that the type matchups not in my favor. I can't believe it. Your Ninetales is too powerful. You are the one who deserves the title of Ninetales Master. All right, that's two master titles in the bag. We both seem to love Ninetales, so let's have another battle sometime. For sure. All right, let's see what's next. I guess I could try challenging the Alakazam Master next. This one I'm also really worried about because uh, <laughs> it seems like a hard matchup on paper. Um, Feng Shen editing cut ahead to when I find the Alakazam trainer, master trainer. All right, here we are in Route 10 where we could find the Alakazam master at the at the area closest to Lavender Town, past Rock Tunnel. Uh, let's see here. I am the Alakazam master. I seek the ultimate Alakazam. Oh, I see you have a very potent looking Alakazam. Would you be interested in battling my Alakazam? Why, yes. Well then, I hope you're ready. Come on, Alakazam. All right, here we go. Uh, I am kind of worried about about this one. Um, I expect it to be somewhat difficult, just cause. Uh, I don't know. I I believe we should be close in level. Yeah, he's level 80. I'm level 85, and I am jacked up on candies, so I think we'll be fine. I don't know. I'm really worried. This is how I feel about mirror matches in literally any game I ever play, whether it be fighting games <laughs> or or what have you. It's like, it can honestly go either way. Oh, he's gonna Calm Mind too? Okay, okay. I mean, I guess I should have expected this. Calm Mind is a fantastic move. I went ahead and taught my Alakazam Tri-Attack, so I could use that as uh, against him. I did look up... Um, this trainer's moveset ahead of time, because I'm using a guide to find all these trainers, so I'm not, like, running around Kanto the entire time. Um, I found a guide that said he- this guy also uses Tri-Attack, and you know what? Tri-Attack sounds awesome on paper, because it has the potential to burn, freeze, or per paralyze, so I'm gonna go ahead and use it. I'm gonna use Tri-Attack- that didn't do a whole lot. That didn't do a whole lot. Oh god, his Tri-Attack did a lot. <laughs> Oh no, I don't know what I got myself into. Uh, I think I'm better off using Psychic. It's not very effective, but it should be strong still, right? Ooh, that didn't do much at all. <laughs> I think, I feel like, be before I went into this fight, I was thinking maybe I should teach Alakazam Shadow Ball. Um, I thought Shadow Ball, or maybe even just using Toxic, would have been an awesome choice. Oh god, I'm burned. Oh no, this isn't good. This is not good at all. Uh, I'll try recovering. Let's try recover. Get my HP back. Let me use try attack again. Sure, that's fine. You know, all things considered, burn isn't that bad. Oh, I want to heal. Yes. See, this is why I should be the Master Trainer, because I have the benefit of having my Pokémon love me. <laughs> when my Pokémon love me, they can overcome your burn and your paralysis and you're frozen! <laughs> oh, this is suddenly easy! <laughs> Tri-Attack is fantastic! <laughs> Wait, if I use Tri-Attack, will I unfreeze him? Because there is a fire attack running through this. Please stay frozen. Oh, this is the best! This is the best! Oh, please stay this way. If if I could just cheese this fight like this, I would be very happy. Please, let's keep it this way. Oh my goodness. Yes! I'm pretty sure he also has recover in his moveset, but I hope he doesn't get a chance to use it. This is absolutely fantastic. Alright, just three more try attacks like that one and I should be <laughs> Three or two? Two more? I want to say two more. Alright, one more. Yeah, one more. <laughs> He's he can't do anything! This is awesome! <laughs> Alright, let's end it with Psychic. <laughs> Why not? Oh, there we go. We beat the Alakazam Master Trainer through sheer skill. Sheer, sheer skill. That seems like true strength. 
<laughs> His face with that sentence sounds so sarcastic. It's like he knew he lost in a very unfair, <laughs> cheesy way. I can't believe this. Your Alakazam is too strong. I think you deserve the title of Alakazam Master. Alright, there we go. We are now Alakazam Master. As two Alakazam fanatics, we should definitely have a battle again sometime. Sure, I'll keep that in mind, but first, let's go ahead and find the Venusaur Master Trainer. So Feng Shou Ned and cut ahead to when I find him. Alright, here we are in Route 23, close to the entrance of the Indigo Plateau, and we're gonna take on the Venusaur Master. I'm the Venusaur Master. My goal is to find the ultimate Venusaur. Hey, your Venusaur looks pretty strong. Can I battle with my Venusaur, please? Sure. Let's see which is the stronger Venusaur. Alright, uh, just like the others, I don't know how tough this one will be. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I also don't know if Mega Evolution will be available to us, because this is the only Mega Pokemon I- or this is the only Pokemon I have that can Mega Evolve right now. Other than Alakazam, because I don't have the Mega Stone, but... And, ooh, okay, so we can Mega Evolve. Uh, I'll start us off with a Growth, because I wanna- I wanna start raising my stats. I wanna, wanna raise my stats with Mega Evolution, and I wanna raise my stats with Growth. That way my attacks do a bit more damage. Attack Rose, special attack Rose, cool. I'm gonna start off with Sludge Bomb. Ugh, that, did a, that did a good chunk of damage. Let's go ahead and hit him with our own Sludge Bomb. Let's see how this goes. Uh, about the same. Oh, they're also gonna go for a growth. Oh, is this a sludge bomb battle? <laughs> Bring it on. Let's let's keep sludge bombing each other. <laughs> uh, hopefully, I I come out on top with my sludge bomb. Oh god, I think they're gonna. Ugh, they did so much more damage than mine. That's not good. Can I mega drain? How much damage will I do if I? Oh, mega drains can't possibly do a lot, but I do want to get some HP back. Mega Drain decently strong. Uh, I I guess I mm, this is not a good trade. If they use growth, I'll be totally fine. If they use anything else, I'm a tad screwed. <laughs> I'm gonna risk it. I wanna get some- if they, if they use Sludge Bomb, I'm dead. There's no doubt about that. If they Sludge Bomb me one more time, I'm dead. So I wanna see if I could like... cheese a little bit of HP back using Mega Drain. Oh, that did not do a lot of damage. That did not do a lot of damage at all. I got my HP back, bro. Sludge Bomb! Ooh, 3 HP! I survived because- <laughs> I survived because of the Mega Drain. <laughs> Go, Sludge Bomb. <laughs> ah, Venusaur! <laughs> you were so close, buddy. You were so close. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Uh, I raised my Venusaur stats a bit, and and I. I want to say it's it, I have a better chance this time. The last the last attempt was admittedly close. Um, I raised my Venusaur's level by five more. I know, kind of a cheap way to just uh buff up my stats, but it's the best I could do. I'm I'm pretty low on candies as it is right now. They are only level 75, and wow, they're only level 75, and they're beating me up that badly, huh? <laughs> That's not a good sign. Uh, well, I, I raised my Venusaur stats by five. I had some rare candies in my bag. I figured I'll go ahead and use them. So now Venusaur, funny enough, is my highest leveled Pokemon. <laughs> uh, but hopefully we'll be able to beat the girl this time around. Ugh, that's Sludge Bomb still doing a crazy amount of damage, but it's okay. Our Sludge Bomb is just as good. I don't know if we'll be able to win the trade war here. Looks like we'll be fine. The reason it was so close last time is because they tried using a growth last time, and that growth pretty much just um, caused them to... Ooh, we're living! <laughs> Sludge bomb! 
Uh, the reason it was close last time is because they used the growth and that gave me more opportunities to attack them, but at the same time raising their own special type. But <sighs> oh, wow, five HP. We just traded sludge bombs and I had one growth stack. That strength is the real deal. Yup, it sure is. I used a lot of candies. <laughs> oh wow, your Venusaur is way stronger than I thought. I think you deserve to be called a Venusaur Master. I've earned the title of Venusaur Master. We should have we should have another battle sometime since we both love Venusaur so much. Whew. Okay, that one was tough. I lost that one, but I came back even stronger on the next attempt. Uh, what's next on our list? Let's go ahead and do the Snorlax Master Trainer next. Fang Chamin editing cut ahead to when we find them. Alright, we're here on Route 16 near Celadon City and we're going to be taking on the Snorlax Master. I'm the Snorlax Master. I aim to find the ultimate Snorlax. What's this? I see you have a strong looking Snorlax. Why don't you have a battle my Snorlax? Alright, it's time for a Snorlax battle. I like the I like the way this guy is placed. This is where we caught our Snorlax, Ace Trainer J. This is where we caught our Snorlax, and they're conveniently standing around at the area where we caught our first Snorlax. So I like that. I think that's cool. Um, same, same deal as always. I don't know how difficult this will be, but I taught my Snorlax Toxic because I felt like it would be very, very useful in this match. I'm missing it the first time, though. Not fun. He's gonna put up a Reflect, which sucks. Uh, I'm just gonna keep trying to talk to them. My goal is to whittle him down as much as possible. I just want to go for a toxic. Uh, gonna use facade. Sure, that does more damage when I'm poisoned, doesn't it? Uh, or when they're poisoned, rather. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Uh, I think I can just body slam him. I don't think an another facade will knock me out, and it does seem like I'm faster. So go for a body slam. My god, that did no damage. Alright, I'm alive. You're fine. Um... Oh god, I don't know how long... I don't think this Toxic will last me long enough. I'm gonna go ahead and try resting. And hope for the best. I'm gonna try resting. This should fully recover me. Right. Okay, cool. Facade. Uh, maybe facading him right away wasn't the best idea. But we'll... Uh, the Toxic whittling him away pretty nicely. I'm just gonna keep mashing rest. Oh, I should have had sleep talk. He dodged it at the shout of my voice. <laughs> yeah, and the reflector off. Keep on resting. Snorlax, keep on resting. <laughs> no, not the sun. Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Toxic, please take him out. No, he has one HP left. All right, Snorlax, I'm gonna need you to wake up so I can command you to fall asleep once more. Yes! <laughs> I did it! <laughs> and Snorlax moved away at the sound of a shot. We did it! We beat the Snorlax trainer. <laughs> Pure skill! Pure skill! <laughs> I can't believe it, your Snorlax is too powerful. You are the one who deserves the title of Snorlax Master. <gasps> oh. <laughs> we both seem to love Snorlax, so let's have another battle sometime. Oh, that was awesome! <laughs> alright, alright. Last, last trainer, last master trainer we need to worry about is the Lapras master trainer. So thanks for editing, cut ahead to when we find them. All right, we're here in Pokemon Tower in Lavender Town, and here we are to take on the Lapras master in Pokemon Tower. I still don't like being in here. I'm Lapras master. My goal is to find the ultimate Lapras. Hey, your Lapras looks pretty strong. Can I battle with my Lapras, please? Please, sure. Let's, let's see which is the stronger Lapras. <sighs> Same dialogue as the Venus Arch Trainer. I guess it's because they're both lasses. That would be my guess. Um, this is the third last we're fighting in the Master Trainers, which is kind of funny. Eevee Trainer was a last, the Venusaur Trainer was a last, and now the Lapras Trainer is a last. Uh, Alright, same deal as last time. I don't know how tough this is gonna be. I taught my Lapras Toxic, <laughs> because Toxic worked so wonderfully last time. Uh, let's see here if this will work out for us. 
Confuse Ray. Oh no. <laughs> I do not want to deal with a Confuse Ray. Alright, well, I'm just gonna start throwing Thunderbolt. I taught my Lapras Thunderbolt, by the way, in preparation for this because Thunderbolt's super effective against water. I really hope I don't hurt myself. Alright, first, first, first Thunderbolt's good. It hits its mark. They're not doing a whole lot of damage. Oh! They're preparing a solar beam. I don't know if I will survive a solar beam. Will I survive a solar beam? Lapras, can you survive a solar beam? Oh god, I don't know if you could survive a solar beam. Lapras, hang in there! Oh. oh, okay, that didn't do nearly as much damage. <laughs> that, was, that was, okay. I'll take it. That wasn't too bad. Let's go ahead and go with another Thunderbolt. Uh, this should knock it out, assuming that talk. No, they have their own Thunderbolts. Oh, God. All right, Toxic doing fine for me. This hat, all right, I'm pretty much guaranteed to win now. They can't do enough damage to me to knock me out, and even if I hit myself with my confusion, all right, we're fine. Even if I hit myself with confusion, poison would have finished the job for me anyway. So, with that, we are good. We have defeated six master trainers. You beat Last Hazel, that strength is the real deal. We've defeated six master trainers. A while your Lapras was stronger than I thought. I think you deserve to be called Lapras Master. And with that, we now are able to battle Pokemon, tra uh, Pokemon Trainer Red. But first, before we do that, there is one trainer we have to we have to see first. So Feng Shim Editing, cut ahead to that trainer. That's right. Before we take on Pokemon Trainer Red, it's only appropriate that we battle Blue first. Yo, Serena. Since I've become the gym leader here, the Viridian City Gym has really stepped it up. It's made each day pretty busy, though. By the way, what do you think of this gym's design? It makes me look like some kind of bad guy, right? I've been thinking of remodeling the place. Well, it doesn't matter all that much, I guess. No matter the place, I'm still the best there is. All right, it's been a while since I've gone all out, so I'll show you the strength of a top trainer. Whoa, not even gonna ask us, hey, do you want to battle? No, we're just gonna show us the strength of a top trainer right here and right now. You are challenged by Gym Leader Blue. Ooh, he's gonna start off with Tauros. Sure. I'm gonna lead off with my Emblay. Right, let's see here. And it does look like we are incredibly overleveled for this fight, which is fine. It's fine. I'm still, I'm still, I still have to two hit KO. It's fine. <laughs> uh, we are super strong. I grinded specifically for the master trainer, so I am in a ridiculously high level. Uh, Blue himself, still in the 60s, 70-ish range. Uh, I, I want to say it'll still be somewhat diff. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I'm enjoying this so far. Uh, it feels really cool to be fighting blue like this. I don't know what to say. Uh, same deal as, as the fight we had with Spark, the champion. I'm going to try to use each and every one of my Pokemon partners in this battle. So first we used Eevee. Switching over to Ninetales. Let's go ahead and use... Let's use Blizzard. Hope it doesn't miss. It doesn't miss. Alright, we're good. Ooh, there's the one hit knockout I was expecting. <laughs> and Tails got a boost. Alright, Aerodactyl. Ooh. Alright. I'll switch in Lapras this time. Lapras has a fairly good matchup in being an ice type against Aerodactyl. Uh, I believe an Ice Beam will be able to one hit KO. Not 100% sure. I would hope it does. Let's see here. Ice Beam! Yup, and there it is. Yeah. See, see, the thing about Blue... <laughs> Blue's just a warm-up, right? Blue's just a warm-up for when we... when we actually fight... fight Red. This is just... This is just a warm-up match. <laughs> we're getting... we're getting ready for the real challenge. Um... 
Alright, so he's gonna send out Exeggutor. I sent out Alakazam... Uh, just cause I don't know who else to send out. I probably would have sent out Lapras or Lolan Ninetales, but I've already used them, and I want to use one of everyone here, so I'm just gonna send out Alakazam and use Tri-Attack, I guess. It's... it's something. And Psychic not very effective since, if I recall correctly, Exeggutor is also a Psychic type, so... I'm just gonna throw out Tri-Attacks. This will be this will be the the one where it takes me a while, barely because oh god, are you gonna knock me out? I'm gonna switch out. I don't want to lose him. Let's not go Lapras. Let's go Nine Tails. I don't want Alakazam to get knocked out. Alakazam did his job. He saw a bit of the battle. He was there. He participated. I said that I wanted to use one of every Pokemon in this fight, I didn't necessarily say that each of them had to knock someone out, so you know what? Alakazam, back to the bench, <laughs> you're good fam. <laughs> Nine Tails, finish the job. Thanks. <laughs> you did a great job against the Master Trainer Alakazam, but you know what, against Pokemon Trainer Blue, we're, we're gonna... We're... You did your part. You did your part. I, granted, I probably should have saved you. Or someone else. I dropped my controller. Probably should have saved Alakazam for someone else. Oh, you're gonna send out your own Alakazam? Alakazam mirror match would have been hilarious. Uh, I'll send out Snorlax in that case. Oh god, what did I just commit to? If I send out Snorlax now, that means I have to send out Venusaur against his Charizard. I think I'm prepared for it. I think I'll be fine. Considering my level. Uh, let's just go ahead and Earthquake. Alakazam has a very low defense, so I feel like this Earthquake will be able to one-hit KO. There it is. Alright, now Blue is down to his last Pokemon. Next screen, we're all gonna send out Charizard. Will you switch your Pokemon? Yes, I will. Venusaur, you are my strongest partner, being level 90 since I had to make you level 90 in order to win against the Venusaur Master Trainer. Somehow you end up stronger than my Eevee. It's cool. But hopefully I'm able to knock out this Charizard with my Venusaur. I don't know if I will be. I'm gonna Mega Evolve just in case, and I'll queue up that Sludge Bomb. Mega Shinka. Oh, he's gonna Mega Evolve too? All right, we got a battle of the Megas here. <laughs> oh, and he has a Mega Charizard, why? Okay, cool. Ooh. I'm really happy they brought Mega Evolution back. Oh, that's a Fire Blast. Oh, that's a lot of damage. I'm still in it though. I'm not knocked out. And this Sludge Bomb should be able to finish the job. You know, Mega Charizard Y in a game like Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee where there are no Pokemon abilities because Mega Charizard Y Mega Charizard Y has has what what should we call it the sunny day thing the ability that that sets up sunlight at the beginning of the round as soon as a Mega evolves it becomes sunny, boosting its fire type attack. It's cool. It's great. But let's go Eevee. I guess it kind of sucks that Mega Charizard Y doesn't have that, huh? Oh well. As long as I can battle strong opponents, I don't care what happens. You get what I mean, right? You better come back again. Can I bow you again right now? <laughs> now we're good. We got our our blue battle. It was a very good warm up for the real challenge. So let's go ahead and make our way back to the Pokemon League. I'm gonna heal up and we're going to take on Pokemon Trainer Red. Here we are at the Indigo Plateau and standing out front is Pokemon Trainer Red himself here in the flesh. Hello. He looked at you and ready to Pokeball. Do you want to battle him? And in true Pokemon Trainer Red fashion, he does not speak. I love that about him. I wouldn't have it any other way. You are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Red. Po Red is the strongest trainer you will find in the game. I don't actually know if I'm ready. All things considered, I don't actually know if I'm ready. And he does have his Pikachu partner. Only, only befitting that we send out our own partner Pokemon. Let's start off with a baddie bad. Why not? Set up our reflect. I'll do a glitzy glow afterwards to set up our, our, 
Uh, light screen. Oh, he's gonna send a reflect of his own. Okay. Um, yeah, so far Pikachu not proving any trouble. That's fine. That's cool. Uh, I, I love the fact that, that he has a Pikachu. It's red! We're fighting red! It says Pikachu! Uh, I don't know what the rest of his team will be, considering that he- Machamp? Okay! Uh, like I was saying, I don't know what his team will be, considering that he doesn't have the three starter Pokémon. I'm pretty sure he only has Venusaur on him, and at this part of the quote-unquote canon, part of this quote-unquote lore, part of this sequence of events, quote-unquote, I don't know. This is technically a Kanto adventure before he- before Mount Silver. So, whoa, look at him thinking in the background! So this is in some continuity before he receives Charizard and Blastoise from blue and green. So, interesting to see that Machamp is here of all Pokemon. Um, I'm not against it. Machamp's cool. I don't think I've seen Red with a Machamp. I don't quite remember if he had a Machamp in Pokemon Adventures. But Machamp's cool. It's, it's knocked out now, but it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's next? Uh, gonna send out Lapras, sure. Um, we have a Lapras of our own, but I am going to send out... Let's send out Venusaur. I wanna... Yeah, let's send out Venusaur. I wanna avoid the Venusaur mirror match. I already suffered through one Venusaur mirror match against a Master Trainer. So I'm not going to use my Venusaur against his Venusaur. It only makes sense that I respect him with a Mega Evolution, so I'm going to go ahead and Mega Evolve. It's only appropriate! And he is also a very strong Lapras, so... I want to be able to knock it out as quickly as possible. Let's go with Petal Dance, it's super effective. Not going to one-hit KO, I'm going to have to go for a two-hit KO. Not a whole bunch of damage, we're fine. Also, we did have our Reflect up, so... That's why we didn't do as much damage. Ice Shard, ugh! Okay, alright, we're still fine, we're still fine. Not a whole lot of damage. Petal Dance will pick up that KO. Whew. Right, and I have used up my Mega, Mega, so Arcanine! What?! He's got his Arcanine?! Alright! Uh, I'll send out Snorlax next, then. Snorlax has Earthquake, so Earthquake will be really good against this Arcanine. Alright. Does he also have his own Snorlax? I don't quite remember. I don't actually know. I, I, I've i been avoiding spoilers. Like, I know I've been- I technically looked up a, a guide on how to trigger red. I, that's why I said at the beginning of the episode, it's like, oh, you need- Blah 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 blah. Beat six master trainers in order for red to appear. He dragged me back out. Venusaur! No, this isn't good. Well, I got sludge bomb, so I guess it's fine. <laughs> all right, thanks for thanks for all your hard hard work, Snorlax. Venusaur will hand. Ooh. I want to say Venusaur will handle the rest of this, but I don't quite know. Will sludge bomb knock out? <gasps> it won't. But he's poisoned. The Sludge Bomb's residual effect will knock him out, and is Venusaur gonna get knocked out? He is! <gasps> I lost a Pokemon to Pokemon Trainer Red, and my Mega Evolution of all Pokemon. Alright, but you're knocked out too. My residual effect of the poison knocked you out. It was a, it was a double KO. I can only assume that he's gonna send out Snorlax next. So I'm gonna go ahead and send out my Lapras. I want to save Nine Tails for the Venusaur. Yeah, there's the Snorlax. Uh, let's go ahead and use Toxic because Snorlax is a pretty bulky Pokemon. Uh, good defensive stats, good HP. I want, I want some, I want Toxic to to help chip away at that over time. And Lapras dodging the attack, I'm really happy about that. I'm surprised I haven't been seeing Venusaur attempt to dodge attacks at all. I wonder if... I wonder if that means Venusaur doesn't like me. <laughs> that sounded so dumb to say out loud. 
<laughs> and the way I said it did not was all right. I don't know. Maybe lap or maybe my Venusaur doesn't like me that much. That's kind of sad to think about, but it would be the easiest explanation as to why um, Venusaur hasn't been like dodging these attacks out of affection towards me or anything. Uh, well, it's not too bad. It's okay. Venusaur, Venusaur did his part. I'm, I'm, he may have gotten knocked out, but he knocked out two Pokemon for it. Rest? Whoa, 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 rest? Aw, oh, come on. I have to chip away at that again. And you healed off the poison. Ah, oh, everything I worked towards. Everything I worked towards is just gone now. Right, let's just keep ice beaming. Just throw out the ice beams. I'd be more tempted to just switch out Pokemon. Um, Molly's asleep. I could send out my own, my own Snorlax again. Or maybe I could send out, I don't know, anyone really. Critical hit though. Yeah, critical hit. It's fine. If he's gonna stay asleep, then this is fine. We've got nothing to worry about. Let's go ahead and do another Ice Beam. <gasps> he woke up. Ugh. Oh no. I wonder what this means. Is he gonna use Rest again? If he uses Rest... Red. I'm gonna use Toxic. I'm gonna use Toxic just in case. Because in the event that he doesn't use Rest... I'll, I'll do a little... Mm, he did Rest. Okay, I understand, Red. You don't want your Snorlax to get knocked out. It's cool. I can't use items in this battle. Whoa! The bag is not available. You cannot use items against Red. Huh? I was gonna use a revive and get Venusaur back in the game, but he's just not an option. He's straight up not an option right now. All right, I'll switch to... I'm thinking about who I want to switch to. I'll switch to Alakazam, why not? Alakazam's very strong, very high special attack stats. Granted, I would love to just fight with my Eevee. Should've used Eevee, I should've sent my Eevee out. What was I thinking? Well, Alakazam. Alakazam's cool too. Go ahead and Psychic. Oh, you know what? While he's asleep, I should just stack Calm Mind. What's stopping me from just stacking Calm Mind while he's asleep? That way I could fish for the one-hit KO if I really wanted it. Let's Calm Mind. Calm Mind. This is fine. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna... Keep resting? You wanna keep sleeping? You wanna keep recovering your HP? It's fine. I have a Calm Mind. I'm dead. <laughs> Alakazam, no! <laughs> Alright, let's go, Eevee. <laughs> I believe in you. <laughs> I was so confident. <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna set up a baddie bat. I want my reflect. Oh, protecting. Come on. Come on. You know, when leftovers isn't an attack... What's the point of even protecting anymore? I guess it's for gr it's great for when you mix up Toxic and it makes them waste a turn. You don't even have Toxic on your Snorlax. I'm not even poisoned. You're protecting and it's wasting our time. Oh, I don't want to say it's wasting our time. Uh, yeah. Red really proving to be our toughest challenge yet. I like that. Um, I am paralyzed. Let's see if Eevee could snap out of it by out of out of sheer love for me. Come on. I believe in you, you can snap out of it. Oh god, I'm taking damage. Um I'm gonna sparkly swirl. It'll heal me of my of my paralysis, I believe. It should. <gasps> that didn't knock him out! What was I thinking? But I'm cured of paralysis, so that's good! <laughs> and he used body slam, okay. Whatever. I thought he was gonna rest again there. Uh so let's just go ahead and finish it off with a sizzly slide. There we go, and now the last Pokemon in Pokemon Trainer Red's team is Venusaur. Will we see the Mega Venusaur? I'm willing to bet we will. Let's go ahead and send out our Ninetales. Look at those red bars on, <laughs> on its stats. I've re I used a lot of Opix candy on this Pokemon. This is my strongest Pokemon, Red. It's only befitting that you send out one of yours. Let's go ahead and use Blizzard! 
God, it's a mega evolution. I do, I, I believe this blizzard will knock it out. Come on! Ooh, not quite! Sludge Bomb, that's super effective, I'm a fairy type! <gasps> oh, okay, that didn't do- Oh, I'm poisoned! <laughs> it didn't do a lot, but poison, no! <laughs> ah! <laughs> My reflect wore off too, <laughs> not like it matters. Alright, let's finish it with an Ice Beam Nine Tails! This should be the end, and it is! We have just defeated Pokemon Trainer Red, the toughest trainer in the in this game in the Kanto region one of the strongest trainers we've ever come to know someone who was us in a past in a past game and here he is facing us down putting his hat down in defeat it's been an uh, it's been fun red it's been an honor battling you always is always has been red seems a little surprised you have earned the title of battle master Red went on his own way. And with that, that is the end of my Pokemon Let's Go Eevee Let's Play. Thank you so much for watching. I am now Battlemaster Serena. And I don't know. That's the end of this Let's Play. Thanks for watching everyone. Thanks to everyone that made it this far into the series. I couldn't end this series off in a better way. Maybe we could re we could do other stuff. I know we could re-challenge some of the gym leaders, but we just defeated Pokemon Trainer Red, and I think I could call this a let's play. So, thanks for watching, everyone, and I will see you guys next time in the next project. Goodbye.